thank you for joining us today, Monday. We're going to look at Matthew 8, 5 to 10. Matthew 8, 5 to 10. And it's where Jesus is speaking to the centurion. Chapter 8, verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, for speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth. And to another, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, what did Jesus hear? He heard the man say, Speak the word only. And Jesus marveled. Jesus marveled when you speak the word only in faith, believing that what is said will come to pass. Jesus marveled and said, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. He has not found so great faith. So what was the great faith? Great faith was that the centurion believed the word only. That the centurion believed the word in Jesus' mouth would accomplish whatever the word was sent to do. That's great faith. When you speak the word only without any physical evidence of things changed and you believe it and you release the word of God and the word is Jesus, Jesus and the word are one and you believe that it's happened, that you have it the moment you speak, that's what considered great faith. Not the amount you have, but that you will speak the word only and believe.